We are live with Lunch Break Live. Nicole Dershway, amazing vegan chef, holding up her vegan ketogenics diet cookbook. Tell us what you're making today. Hey guys, welcome. Uh, today we are making okonomiyaki, which is a Japanese vegetable pancake. And it's going to be incredible. So let's jump in. Yeah. yeah <laughs> the greatest thing about this dish. Should we go for it? Um, yeah, I love this dish because, okay, so today we're doing it a little bit more traditionally with cabbage, shredded carrots, some shiitake mushroom, which are going to add a great umami and a lot of vitamin K. But you also, you know, this is a great post holiday uh, dish because if you have any left in your fridge, any vegetables uh, that you haven't used up, you can just throw them in. If you got squash, zucchinis, whatever you got going on in there, it's welcome and it will work. So just play with it. Let's start mixing up the batter. Um, you guys are just gonna want a large mixing bowl. We've got a cup of uh, gluten-free flour here and a little bit of miso paste. This is just going to add a little bit of salt to the batter. We also have some flax meal here. This is going to replace our egg. Um, and, you know, in some dishes, you would pre-soak the flax meal with the water to get it to kind of coagulate. But for this one, we're going to add water directly to the batter, and it's going to help all of our batter. So you don't need to do that. You just dump it in dry. And then let me just get a little bit of filtered water. Now this calls for one cup, but I don't want my batter too thin. So what I would suggest, instead of you guys just pouring the whole cup at once, just pour a little bit with it, see where your batter's at, and then take it from there. So let's see what we got here. And the idea is to mix in all the miso paste and to get it, it should look like a, a pretty decent pancake batter um, when you're done. So right now, mine is basically uh, cookie dough. <laughs> so we're gonna add a little bit more water. Hope you guys had a good holiday season. Um, and hopefully, you know, if you're hungry, you could make this with some leftover veggies. These are great to cook up in advance and you could just store them in the freezer so that when you have guests over, you could just pan sear it on each side and uh, just reheat it and serve. So I really like this dish. Oh man. Oh my gosh. We have so All many right. people watching already with us today. We have Tom who says, who Hi. uses frozen banana as an egg substitute? Yeah. We also have Tina watching. And we have a few others that are chiming in today. Nicole Dershway is an incredible vegan chef who makes her round. She helps many people with their health challenges to become more plant-based. And she just takes it to a whole nother level. Amazing. Hi, Christy. Um, Nicole, wow. How did you think of coming up with this beautiful dish to make today? Well, I, you know, I have a habit of making this when I have leftover veggies after, after any holiday kind of thing. But, um, you know, before I went vegan, I used to love this. Uh, it's kind of a street food, kind of a naughty thing. So to veganize it just by really simply, we just switched out the egg. Um, there's not really any crazy substitutions that needed to happen. It was already like almost there. So it's just, you know, for me, it was a no-brainer. Um, and then also to make the batter gluten-free was cool, too. So now we've got our pancake batter, and I am preheating the skillet. This is on a medium heat now. And we are just going to toss our vegetables directly into the batter and get them all coated up. So that was a little bit of onion. I've got some grated carrot here that's going to go right in. Our shiitake mushrooms is going to provide a little bit of vitamin K, some umami. I love mushrooms. I love them. I love them. And more carrot. We need some beta carotene. Let's keep those peepers bright. Keep it bright. <laughs> Start tossing your vegetables in the batter. Okay. And like now we're going to go in with the cabbage. Woo. 
Yes, make it rain. I love cabbage. Cabbage is a prebiotic, so it really helps um, with your gut flora. You can eat a little bit of cabbage, keep everything healthy in there. Great. So you should look like this when you're ready to cook. So it's just everything's well, well coated, but it's not too saturated. You want enough batter so that way it'll kind of crisp up. And the only last thing I'm going to add is some fresh grated ginger. Some people like to add this in at the end as a topping. I like to cook with it because it kind of opens up the ginger and gets the flavor all infused. So I like to do it in the batter portion. And that's it. You're ready to um, pan fry these babies. Today I'm using a macadamia oil spray. This is vegan, it's keto, it's gonna you know, make your pan non-stick. Put that in there. And then we're just gonna get a clump of the veggie together. Kind of just clump it up, almost as if you were making a haystack or a zucchini pancake or a vegan crabby cake. You, it's just like that kind of concept. And make sure your pan's hot so when we set it down, it's gonna sear it right together. And just a, a, a pretty generous clump of this. Beautiful. So we're gonna let that sear up. And it's time to flip it in about two to three minutes, but we'll know. It'll start to stick together and get nice and golden toasty. We're gonna flip it and cook it on the other side. But while we're waiting for that, let me talk to you guys about toppings because uh, toppings are a big part of this dish. Uh, right now I've got some green onions already chopped up. So when we're done, that's gonna go on top for sure. Uh, and you can just have fun with it. Like some people try to compete to see how many toppings they can actually put on top of this thing at the end. Go wild, have fun, be creative. But we're gonna do green onions. I've got some coconut aminos. Uh, we're doing this in lieu of, um, you know, usually it'd be like a soy sauce because it's gluten free and there's a health benefit of the aminos. So we're going to be using this in place of soy sauce as a topper. And I love a little bit of fresh lime. So we'll put some fresh lime and some black toasted sesame seeds. And then if you have a sriracha, um, I'm using yellow bird today just to give it a little bit of kick. And then I also have some kelp flakes. So how many toppings is that? One, two, three, four, five, five toppings, <laughs> six toppings. I didn't count the line. Um, but you know, some people just very simply, you know, put, put some tamari on top and call it a day. So uh, you know, it's up to you. You can go wild or you can keep it simple. Ooh, also if you had a mayo, like a vegan mayonnaise, you could mix that with some sriracha and do a spicy uh, aioli, which would be killer on there as well. So this is good. This is starting to sear up. I'm going to go ahead and peek underneath and see if it's ready to flip. Oh yeah. So when it, when all the vegetables are stuck together, it's time. Give it a good flip. And we've got that nice golden brown color on that other side. But now, great. You know, just let it cook up another two to three minutes on the side. And then you have an instant lunch loaded with veggies, loaded with nutrients. And again, like I said, if you wanna just get cooking and mix a bunch of this up in advance and keep them in your freezer, they're amazing to make ahead. You pull them out of the freezer when the guests come over, heat up your pan, sear, sear, sizzle, sizzle. You're the life of the party. Who can think of anything better? I can't, I really can't. <laughs> um, I'm gonna probably do that today. Hey, Nicole. So my bestie, uh, social distance Christmas drive-by. I'm gonna drop off her present. So I might package up a, a little bit of this and drop it off for her. Thank you, Joya. Hi, it's gonna be really delicious. And a couple people wanna see oh. more of your book. Is there any way you can show us your book, book a little bit here? Tell us a little bit about the inspiration so for this book. I partnered up with Eco Vegan Gal, Whitney Lardson, who um, is a plant-based keto uh, rock star. And um, we co-wrote this. It came out in February, right before the pandemic. And it's uh, it's available on Amazon. It's in Target. 
but this is uh, an incredible book and I wrote all these recipes. Um, there are 75 keto vegan recipes and I really just felt so inspired to show people you know, keto has been like this huge thing. And there was even some vegans that were considering, you know, leaving veganism because they wanted to do keto. And I was like, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. That's not necessary. <laughs> you can do keto vegan. Um, and it's, it's not only can you do it, you can do it incredibly. Like you can have these little vegan cheesecake bites and all kinds of stuff. We've got a tumka soup. Like there's just it's so many incredible recipes in here. And I just wanted it to be a resource for people that are interested in a keto diet and are vegan and they want to, uh, you know, you can have it all. You don't need to give up on anything. So yeah, that's it guys. It's fun. There's all kinds of good stuff in there. I think our pancakes are ready. I'm going to go ahead and check. <laughs> Aw, hi Kelly. Thank you so much for joining. Hello, hello. Okay, so let's see. We're going to do a quick flip. Hopefully oh yeah, nice and toasted. That's perfect. So I'm going to turn this off the heat and we're going to plate this. Beautiful. Now the fun part, the topping. <laughs> And like I said, get creative. If you have a topping that I didn't think of that you loved, like I would have loved to have some sesame chili oil, but I'm out right now because I love spice. So if you have that, just have fun, play, be creative. Um, but I'm gonna give it a quick dash with the coconut aminos. Careful, cause this is, uh, you know, it can be salty. So just less is, less is more. Less is more sometimes. We've got toasted black sesame seeds. White sesame seeds are great too. I love a little uh, dried seaweed flake. I, I just love that. Gives it a little umami. And our green onions, generous with those because they give it a pop of color and just bring this dish to life. And then we're gonna give it a little pass with the sriracha. Woo, drippy, beautiful. And Voila, okonomiyaki ready to go. That's it, guys. <laughs> wow, that looks amazing. Do you eat it with chopsticks? You know, it's a little hard to eat with chopsticks. I try to be cool and eat it with chopsticks, but you got to break it up first. Um, so maybe a fork would be easier, but you can do it. Like, you know, it's doable. By the time you've cooked it, the veggies are a little bit soft and, and malleable, so you can could pick it up and be be cool kid with the chopsticks if you want. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Nicole, what are some of your top tips for the new year? Like if you were going to give us your top four tips for the new year, what would they be? Mm. Are they all food related or are they, or, or can they just be like life tips? Anything you want, Miss Vegan Chef, anything you want. It's up to you. Okay, well, let's give you the first one that's food related. If you are a person who likes to keep fresh vegetables in your life, kale, uh, mint, anything like this, I don't know if you guys know this, I'll show you. Um, it's really great to let them drink and treat them just like fresh cut flowers, cut off the bottom, put them in a, a glass of water and store them in the fridge like this. You will keep the cells of the vegetables just loaded with hydration and your vegetables will last twice as long. So that's that's one life hack for 2021. Um, another one, I would say, this has been great if you have access to um, start to think about when it comes to fashion, buying reclaimed fashion um you know there's just so much fashion that's disposable and it ends up in landfills and we think we're so cool we wear it like three times and then we donate it thinking we're doing a good thing but there's just nowhere to put all this stuff it ends up in landfills so if you can buy secondhand that is a huge thing that you could do for the environment and you'll have access to more expensive fancy high fashion labels at a really introductory price that you would have gotten a disposable piece for so that's number two uh, what else? What else do I got? Oh, I read a book. 
It's called Good Morning, I Love You. And by read, I mean, I listened to it on Audible. But she suggests that um, every morning when you wake up, literally before you raise your head from the pillow, to just lay there for a second, don't get up yet, don't get up yet. And just say your name, whatever your name is. Nicole, I love you. Good morning, Nicole, I love you. Take a second to do that. If you do it for two weeks, uh, the writer of this book swears it will change or shift your energy or your life in some way. And I 100% agree uh, that it will. I, I, I do. And I think my last tip is uh, <laughs> to spread the joy of veganism. My suggestion, um, teach, don't preach. So uh, I've noticed that people are much more responsive to me when I'm doing something cool like this, teaching you a yummy thing that you could do with your leftover vegetables or showing up at your house with like a fun soup recipe and we make it together and make it tangible for you. And then you're more open-minded and you want to talk about it. So I know that comes up probably a lot around the holidays, a lot of vegans going home and dealing with different family members that, uh, you know, are, are not, not vegan. So I, I teach, don't preach. So that's my tip number four for 2021. I love it. Will you show us your dish one more time before we go? This has been an amazing lunch break live. Wow. Thanks everybody for watching. You know, Tom was saying if you got some sriracha, that might be yummy on top too. Wow. Will you show us the different yes. um, one more time ingredients that went into that? Can you just take us through for those that started uh, joined on late? Let's see. Yes. We just, <laughs> We, we made a very simple batter with some gluten-free flour, some water, and some miso paste with flaxseed. That's it. And then once you've made your pancake batter, fold in any shredded vegetables that you want. Today, we use cabbage, carrots, and shiitake. And then once they're all coated in the batter, you just pan fry it on each side. Um, we used a little nonstick today. This is a macadamia oil spray. And, uh, and, and then have fun go crazy with the toppings and lunch is ready and I, I, this whole thing came together in under 10 minutes so it's really excellent dish for anyone who's a novice or an expert anyone can uh pull this one off i love it hey nicole will you please tell everybody about the martha project before we go because i just Aww. love i love that so much a part of who you are this year and what you you know outsource and supported so Will you just give everybody yeah. a little share about that? Absolutely. Um, so the Martha Project is a project that I started this year during quarantine to help feed the houseless community of Los Angeles plant-based meals in eco-friendly packaging. And Martha is my past grandmother who was always feeding everyone and had such a heart of service and generosity. So as an homage to her, I created the Martha Project. And it is 100% volunteer ran and operated via my Instagram. So if you want to be involved, come on over to the Nicole Dursway Instagram. We do the activations uh, once or twice a month. And you have an opportunity to donate five, ten dollars to help pay for the plant-based ingredients. Or you also have an opportunity to come on and be one of the volunteers uh, to come cook the plant-based meals with me, package them up, and we hand deliver them to the encampments. Some of these people, you know, they're in wheelchairs, they don't have full mobility. So being able to bring a plant based meal that was home cooked with love directly to the front of their tent and put it in their hand and tell them that they're loved and thought of and cared for and that their life matters is where the real healing and the real medicine is. So that's the Martha project in a nutshell. And Martha is your grandmother. Is that right? Yeah, Martha Ann from Savannah. She's the reason why I'm a chef. So I, I gotta I gotta give her all the ups, all the thank yous. <laughs> we we when I was a kid growing up, we didn't play hide and go seek. We did tasting games. So like I just sat in the kitchen and we would play by uh you know tasting different ingredients raw and then after we introduced it acid or heat and I I, I thought we were playing a game, but really she was doing early palate development, uh teaching me how to be an amazing chef. So it was fun. <laughs> it was so amazing. Wow. Well, it's been so much fun being with you today. Thank you, yes. Nicole. Happy New Year to everybody. Thanks for joining us here on Lunch Break Live. It's been an amazing year. And go out there and 
um, figure out what project you want to do this year, everybody out there. The Martha Project is a super big um, inspiration. You can start a Martha Project in your neighborhood, too, I'm sure, uh, with Nicole's yes. guidance. And um, thank you again for joining us. I'm going to let you show everybody that dish one more time before we uh, take it away. And <laughs> yeah, yummy. <laughs> Thanks for joining us, everybody. We love you. And eat well. Happy New Year, everyone. Bye.